how one becomes a candidate for a replacement surgery. Oftentimes it's based on symptoms, you know, their uh, level of pain, their overall level of function, um, uh, options that they've tried previously, conservative treatment options, whether that be anti-inflammatory medications, cortisone or other um, injection options, physical therapy. And usually if you combine sort of the presentation and symptoms with other, you know, non-surgical management options that they've tried, if the symptoms are persistent and, and significantly affect their quality of life, I think that, you know, um, in a lot of cases makes people a, a good candidate or at least a, uh, in terms of the discussion of having an operation to fix their underlying problem.